good morning good night whenever you are watching this video but for me it is morning time it is actually like almost nine something which is pretty late for me but i woke up at 4 a.m had kind of a an issue that i had to take care of and it took me about an hour driving around and then it was honestly a really bad morning it was not fun um yeah my phone was just not doing good and then i pull into this movie theater and I, I took a nap i probably fell asleep again at like 6 30. now here i am if i sound a little stuffy it's because i am indeed sick <laughs> uh i just filmed um there was this video that i don't know if this one's gonna come out before it or what but 48 hours something something challenge and it got me pretty messed up to the point where i'm sick so i went ham on that video but if you saw it, you saw it. If you haven't, get ready for it. Today's goal is to do a striper catch and cook. You guys know I love striper like so much. I have it tattooed on my body. They're unbelievable fish. They fight so hard. They're beautiful, just et cetera, et cetera. I love them so much. And I don't usually eat them. I probably eat them only once or yeah, probably only once a season. And that's just due to the fact that I just don't want to eat them as much as they taste really good. It's kind of like a, eh, it's okay. I'll let them go. Cause there's always someone out there that I'm friends with that will catch one and then give me some meat at least a couple times a season anyway. So why, you know, catch and cook one myself when I can get some eventually from other people. Um, and wow, I'm just realizing how bad my voice sounds like right now. <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't really do it much. But for some weird reason, I am craving Striper. So I messaged somebody on Instagram that follows me, one of you beautiful people, and they told me that they would take me out fishing because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm in Maine. If you're new to the channel or the series, I, I live out of the, my truck bed and I decided to travel to Maine and I've never been to this area. We're south of Portland. We were all the way up near Canada, basically. And now we're almost on the border of New Hampshire. So a lot of traveling the last couple of days, but that's okay. I like it a lot. I love it. And I have no idea how to catch saltwater fish here. So I'm gonna be going out with, uh, I have to remember what his name is actually, but I'll get his name and we're gonna attempt to catch a keeper size striper that's the always the issue too with stripers it's, it's hard to catch a keeper size striper you know there's so many schoolies that'll beat you to it it's like you always catch uh either schoolie size like really really like under this keeper limit or you catch over the limit <laughs> size striper <laughs> so we're just gonna have to pray that we catch a keeper size fill my cravings of wanting striper and go from there we do indeed have a video sponsor today which is going to be Guggen squad slash Guggen baits more on them later I'm gonna go fill up gas and then we're gonna meet him at a tackle shop so we kind of got to get the ball rolling it's already 936 uh, we're trying to we're trying to time the tide change perfectly so all right let's go get some gas and spend like five thousand dollars on it and I'll meet up with you guys in a little bit and keep you updated and hopefully we catch a keeper size striper. Let's do it. This place looks cool. Yeah, how are you? What's up, bud? Do you fish? Hi. What's up? I never, never did that. Yet. I was gonna try that. Yes. Today's video sponsor. When you go to the random tackle shop, when your video sponsor is here. Eh, eh, eh. It's called Sacco Bay Tackle. Definitely go check it out if you're in the area. The people here are so nice and 
and there's signs everywhere before you walk in saying dog on premise so it seems as if that dog is here a lot so you might get lucky and meet Brody that dog is the coolest but right now it's outgoing mm -hmm. I have a spot where I think if we get there as soon as possible we can make something happen okay so I think it's like uh, let's see how far this is. I'm just hoping it's not crowded because usually quite a few people there but All I right, can just so. follow you yeah perfect I love meeting new people. He seems so nice. Let's follow homeboy. It snagged again. Oh God, we gotta go. Just got word that the stripers are going insane at the spot across the street. So I have to run like now. like two percent there ah! I know that's my buddy <laughs> I was all the way over there didn't take them long either they're running like crazy <laughs> buddy caught a keeper oh my god he just followed my bait all the way in I just want to catch one so bad. Shaking right now, I'm so excited. Because I know it's going to happen, it's just like what cast and when. Why are those hair in red? You could literally snag one. Come on, just give me one. Yes! Should I just cast it out? I'll get through the eye. All right, here we go. Something already picked it up. Oh, he dropped it. Pick it up, look at him run. Oh my god! Holy sh Dude! Are you kidding? Insane! Of course, my lightest rod I freaking own. And this is a giant. <laughs> the lightest rod. This is not a small striper. I promise you that. Did you see the way he hit it? That was insane. Come on, bud. He definitely has more runs in him. I just want to see it. Oh my god. 
God. What's up? I only have 20. <laughs> Look at him go. Holy crap. This is my trout rod, so um, can't really say it's tight. There's bigger, they, we saw a giant like kind of swerve all the way up here. <laughs> Let's go! I got it. Are you kidding? Is that your first one today? Yeah, yeah. it is. Here you go. Safe releasing. That was so cool. That was like the coolest striper catch of my life. Safely releasing him. I just can't get down there. There he goes. That was sick. That was so cool. I just caught the live bait, yeeted him, and that was it. Just taking our pet fish for a walk. Alright, we kept one fish, obviously, because we're only supposed to keep one. I could have kept one, and he could have kept one, but that's too much meat. We realistically don't even need this entire fish, but um, I'll bring it home, keep it in a cooler and whatnot. But we got a fish. Success. That was a lot of fun and easily one of the coolest striper catches of my life. And, um... I'm so stoked I got that on GoPro, it was so sick. But that one was released, we got this one. We're gonna go to the grocery store, get some stuff to cook it, and then cook it up. Okay, see if he fits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe, yeah. Just Probably. barely. Wow, what a long day though. Like, we've been fishing since, I don't know. We ended up fishing probably starting at like 10.15. It's 2.09 brutal but so worth the wait and the struggle all right let's talk about today's video sponsor cooking squad one of the biggest supporters of the channel and the number one way to support my channel is by going to check them out at the link down below and use my code at checkout when you use my code at checkout code becca it helps me immensely uh probably not probably it is the number one way to support me so if you like what i push out into the world of youtube then definitely go check them out and help support the channel to keep us alive that'd be amazing they make unreal base unreal hats this shirt is guggen squad i mean they're gonna be coming out with shoes they make rods they're gonna make real soon hint hint uh they make everything and everything i've ever used with their logo on it has been well thought out product and just great stuff so definitely go check them out and go catch yourself some fish while you're at it too also for everyone that always tags me on instagram with their guggen squad products and guggen baits thank you i love when you guys tag me in those stories on instagram it is so cool seeing how much you guys love their products like i do it's just it's just a cool experience but all right let's head to um our lovely parking lot that we're going to be cooking up this fish in but that's all i wanted to say quickly thank you to guggen squad for sponsoring today's video thank you for saying um hey this girl doesn't suck let's sponsor her appreciate it all right i'll meet you guys at the spot how do you feel about fish tacos fish tacos fish I was gonna just like bake, or not bake it, but like just do like lemon and butter. And then I started thinking about like deep frying it. And then I thought about avocados. And then I just kind of came up with fish tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and none of these look ready though. New Orleans style. Franks, love of my life. Yes, sir. Fish tacos. 
we made the executive decision to go about 15 minutes north to just like a way bigger, nicer parking lot. So that's what we're gonna do. So bigger, nicer parking lot for some striper love. Can't go wrong. Uh, I'm so excited right now though. I'm starving. The only thing I ate today, I haven't ate today. I am so excited to eat. Okay, let's do it. You got this. Can't tell, we have made it to the parking lot and we are filleting up this fish. I'm pretty stoked right now. I think they're gonna, it's gonna come out really good. But I'm gonna start prepping everything while he fillets it. Cause YouTube hates when you show stuff like filleting, which makes no sense. But I'm not trying to get demonetized. Um, that's gonna be so much meat. Oh man. Good thing we got ice for the cooler. Okay, I'm gonna get everything else ready while he does that. And then we'll be on our way to making fish tacos. You're gonna dunk them all. You don't have to do them all at the same time, but dunk most of them in the franks as much as you can at once, just for convenience. Beautiful. If you have the time, you can totally like leave them in there for as long as you want and let it really soak up. But you know, we ain't got time like that. Do your second batch. Just keep repeating. Make sure they're coated in franks. That's the goal. That's hot. Oh yeah. Oh god. Wipe it dry a little bit. Shake it. Coat it in your batter. Make sure you're getting it all in there. You can always do like the double one too and you can like go back in. That's totally your call. Every time I do that, I feel like I mess it up though, but I'll do a couple pieces like that. Go back into your franks. Like sometimes I just feel like it's almost too thick. I don't know though. Do that. Yeah, see, I feel like that's clumpy. But everyone says to do this. Put that back and then just repeat with every single piece of fish that you have. I always get roasted every time I do a catch and cook because my oil's not hot enough. <laughs> so to test it, you go like that. I don't know, what do you think? Like, does that look good? <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to get roasted. That looks good. Should we just test one? Yeah. Just test one. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Okay. Can't bully me now. You wanna try it? Yeah. That's your first time ever trying striper, right? Yeah. It's hot. I actually so good. Right? Alright, it's hunter approved. Wow. Mm. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Dude, they look so good. Are we kidding? That's professional. You're right. Dude, are we kidding? That is literally it. Like, this is like, this is sick. All right, cheers. More of a burrito, but it's okay. It does not get better than that. <laughs> not. This is stupid good. This is like the best fish taco I've ever had. And it was cooked out of a truck bag. This is like, like literally perfect. This isn't even a real kitchen. It is way better than anything you can get at a restaurant. It's so good. 
<laughs> you devoured that. Woo! 10 out of 10. That was so delicious. Today was just awesome, honestly. Like, my morning was off to a bad start, like I said to you guys. And then things just got so much better from there. So I guess you gotta hit an all-time low. And then you can't go any lower. And then it just skyrockets up. It was a great day. Uh, Hunter's awesome. He was such a cool kid. I'm so glad I got to meet him and hang out with him. It's just like life on the road. You meet people. That's like one of my favorite parts. It's just there's so many people out there that are so unique and like I don't know how to explain it, but just a really good day. And I am sweating. It is hot up here in Maine. I know you think of Maine, you think of cold, but I'm hot right now. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's episode. If you guys want to try the fish recipe, I highly recommend it. It is so freaking good. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you. And make sure to go check out today's video sponsor. Thank you to Guggen for sponsoring this video. And I will catch you beautiful people on the next one.